I haven't done a shop tour video in a while, so I figured I would do a quick walk around of the shop. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's changed, some stuff that's not changed, so if you're a, a new viewer, there's gonna be a lot of stuff you haven't seen around the shop before, and if you've been following for a while, some of it may seem similar, but uh, I'll start at the front up in the showroom and we'll walk all the way through the back. So looking forward to showing you guys around. Here we are in the showroom office part of the shop. Uh, right when you walk in the front doors, this is kind of what you're greeted with. Uh, I've got my replica Shelby Daytona and the Roadster Roadster. And just a lot of memorabilia, stuff that I collect, pictures and weird taxidermy, just all kinds of different stuff that I like to collect. And there's the podcast station. So that's the, the showroom in a nutshell. I've got a map uh, that I started in 2016 from uh, whenever somebody visits the shop, they get to sign the guest book and they get to pin where they're from. So I thought that would be cool when I get older to see where all my visitors have come from. So now we'll head out into the main shop area. We've got the Cadillac, the Mustang Project, the 49 Ford, and the Model A sedan. So I've working, been working on scaling uh, things back over the years to get to more of a comfortable, comfortable workload so I can work on you know, four or five client cars at a time instead of running myself ragged on eight to 10. So I've been working to get stuff done and out and kind of clear my schedule to where I can bring in just four or five cars at a time for clients and the rest be personal stuff on the nights and weekends. But then I can focus more on quality versus quantity. So this is the main work area where I work on all the client cars. Layout fab table and sheet metal brake, sheet metal shear. And then where I shape all my metal, the sheet metal stuff. So power hammers, pull max, wheeling machine, bead rollers. kind of blends up where I just was, but that's where all my machine tools are, blades, mills, shaper, and my other large fab table. And we'll keep working our way back. So I've got this space open for when I get in large orders of steel tubing for mandrel bending. That way they can come in right here. And in this bin I've just got test bins, Set up bins. And then back here is steel storage, plasma cutting, sandblasting, and mandrel tube bending. Lots of storage for tubing, flat bar, sheets. So that's looking forward to the front of the main shop. And then it comes in, so this is the back of the shop, which if you watched the video the other day, um, it's more of my personal space and the race shop to where I work on more race car stuff. And there will be some customer cars back here. Like I have a, a Lakester to do that's about 25 to 30 feet long and it won't fit 
up front. So I'll end up doing it back here. But still putting stuff away. Um, it's come a long way in the past couple weeks. So we've got the streamliner, the soon to be belly tank project, all my hardware storage. I've still got a little bit of it to put away. But all that's left to finish organizing and put away is on this wire metal shelf. Everything else is put away and somewhat organized. And there's the renderings and some mechanical drawings for the streamliner project. And the modified roadster, which I'm hoping here in a little bit I can work on today. Get a few things buttoned up. parts for that. So very excited to get the this part of the shop done and usable. So now I'll walk back up front. So this part of the shop is about 2,300 square feet. Uh, my overall shop is right around 7,500 square feet. Walk back forward. Try to get some different angles coming back forward than when I walk towards the back. But that's pretty much the Cornfield Customs World Headquarters in a nutshell. So I want to appreciate everybody for watching and kind of seeing the shop layout and some of the stuff I've got going on. Uh, if you want to support kind of what I'm doing with content creation, uh, whether it be on Instagram or YouTube, uh, on Instagram I have a subscriber subscriber program with some good incentives so check that out um, or if you want some more involved stuff uh, bigger incentives and discounts uh, check me out on patreon whether you're again on instagram youtube or the podcast uh, check us out on patreon it's cornfield customs and you know any support is greatly appreciated it'll help us you know get new equipment and work on putting out better content Thanks again for checking it out and stay tuned for more videos.